so uh, we'll now discuss how to mark up or how to format text in an in a readme file so for that uh, if you want to write a plain text it goes simply like this if you want your text to be emphasized so this is an use two asterisk emphasized and close them text you see it's already bold here and after formatting also it will appear to be bold so there's one more method there's one more and I'm gonna use underscores method double underscores that is underscores twice this also gives an emphasized text so if you want to use italicized text then simply use this is italicized but before that use just single underscore and similarly you have one more method there's one more and now use just single asterisk method and don't give spaces so if you want to create bullet points now okay we'll see if this is working or not first let me commit the changes and we'll see your readme file getting ready so you see this is a plain text this is an emphasized text one more method by one more method we have created a bold or emphasized text and this is italicized and this also is italicized so let me go back to edit from this pen type of an icon when you click it you go back to editing so now I want to create bullet points that is a list of bullet points I may use a header over here for this so let me just write three hashes and a space that's working now for bullet points if you write an asterisk and give space and then write number one you're not closing it so that will be treated as a bullet point number two an asterisk and number three so let's come at the changes and see if the bullet points are working or not so yes they are so now there's one more method of creating a bullet list let's go through that as well I'm gonna again give it three hashes space and again a list so now use just hyphen and write number one use a hyphen again write number two use a hyphen again and write number three this is not an underscore but a hyphen which is different so I'm committing these changes and let me see yes this is also working so you have kind of two or three methods to create the same effect in a readme so now let's see how to add images and I'm also gonna keep it in a heading so three hashes space and add images so again there are two methods for PNGs and uh, so let me write down for PNGs uh, let me give it a fifth heading for PNGs, JPEGs or JPGs. You can also use this HTML markup which is simply image src equals to and in this in these double quotes will go our link. So I have an image ready here and just right click over it and copy image address and have the images address and then I'm gonna just paste it over here so now let's come and changes and see if it's working indeed it's working so now I'm gonna edit it again and show you the second method of adding images I have already the link copied to the clip clipboard so this is the second method exclamation mark and within square brackets will go alt text all in small and there's a space between alt text now there is no space and we are just opening and closing the parenthesis I'm gonna copy the link or the URL over here then let's see if this format is working for us or not clicking on commit changes and I see two images over here yay so the format is working the second one 
So what if you want to add GIFs to your README also? So there's a provision for that too. Simply use this format again of alt text and of copying pasting the link over here only provided that at the end it should be GIF that is GIF. So let me make one more heading for this which will be five hashes. and uh, for gifts so I have one gift ready which is a hot dog which is dancing so I'm just gonna go to copy link and I'm gonna copy the gift link from here so this is copied successfully then I'm gonna go to my readme and paste it in these parentheses so let's see if it's working or not Hopefully it will work. Yes, so our gifts here. The last thing that I want to show is how to create block code and how to create a code. How to write a code in a readme. So for block code, just simply use the closing tag. I am a block code. If you want to use one line codes like uh, int p equals to 10. And you want to enclose it in a single line of code. So for that, simply use single tildes, which is below your escape key. And if you want to create multiple lines of code, then use three asterisks. Sorry, three tildes. I'm sorry about that. Three tildes and then goes your code. So this is your code. Something, something. And then you're closing it and then again close it with three tildes which is below your escape key so this is a block code this is a single line of code and this is your multiple lines of code so let's see if it's working or not and yes it's working so this is a block code this is a single line of code and this is a multiple line of code so hope all this was clear to you so thanks for watching.